What is something you've recently given yourself permission to do? I want to say like let go. I gave my, pres- my per- I gave myself permission to let go, and let go to- of what. Um, Give myself permission to do? Um, oh, I don't know, I feel bad. I'm taking a lot of time. I don't know, that's a hard, hard question. We'll come back to it. Okay. <laughs> in regards to permission to do is be selfish. I've always felt like in order for me to go out or go somewhere, I had to be with someone. Recently, I've been going out to restaurants and not feeling bad about it. Not trying to bring anybody. My daughter can wait at home. Um, let go of a unhealthy situation I was in. Um, if something doesn't feel right to me, if something doesn't make me happy, then by all means, like, you gotta go. And, you know, that's not always perfect because, you know, Toxic things make us happy sometimes, <laughs> so. Stop being so nice, like who cares? Be happy and not, stop putting everyone's emotions or everyone's troubles on your shoulders. Sometimes when you're put into a situation or like family dynamics change and you kind of have to step up and be a particular person, you tend to give, 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 give and never replenish. I think saying no, with people close to me, I'm quick, I'm quick to say, yeah, like sure, I'll do that. Like, Sure, I can do it and not get too much on my plate and then I spread myself thin. And it's like been so peaceful <laughs> for me just to say no to people. I was blaming it on Rona for a while. I'm like, you know coronavirus, like I don't want to be out there. Like I might be getting too good at it. People are like, do you want to go to, I'm like, no. <laughs> but you have plans, no. I thought I gave myself permission to be a hot girl and that was, I don't know what voice I was listening to. I've given myself permission to forgive myself because I am really hard on myself more than anybody else. So even if someone else doesn't realize I messed up, I'm over here like, Michaela, you remember that one time you messed up? And I'm like, yes, I do. Can you leave me alone? And then Michaela's like, no, I can't. Wait, what are you defining hot girl as? <laughs> I think we should start there. <laughs> no, I'm gonna just take no. It wasn't me being a hot girl, me being stupid. <laughs> me not taking the time to like really think about my choices and the effect that it would have on me. Cry. And people see it as being weak. And I'm like, why? I gotta keep it 100. If I'm not okay, I'm not okay. You know, it's like you wanna cry and you be like, hold in, you feel in your chest. Like, I can't even breathe. So now I'm like, bitch, you cry it out and keep it moving. Like, I can't keep holding it in and being so tough for everybody else and trying to be the support that I think people need. Mm -hmm when I need to support myself. Go after my first property. I think I was holding myself back on that. I always think like, oh, this would be cool, you know, or this would be cool. But now it's more like, I'm going to do that. You, you wanna kind of be authentic and be that living the dream version of yourself that you're kind of exposing to everybody else. And when all through this COVID thing, I kind of said, you know what? this is actually maybe the best time for me to just actually live my dream and to not necessarily work for anybody else, but to do the actual things I want to work on and at my own pace. Just to have fun. Um, I, I work a lot. <laughs> so just going out and just relaxing my body because your body needs that. Grinding, you feel like, you know, you set these goals for yourself and it's okay not to like, I was like, okay, bye. 22, I gotta have a degree by 25, I have to be married, you know what I'm saying? But now I've learned to take a step back, relax, and things will happen when they happen. What is something you've re- recently given yourself permission to do? Or permission to be? More so permission to be. Um, to be comfortable in who I am, how I think, and who I desire to be in the future. To be myself, freely to be heard, just like Kamala Harris, like I'm speaking. To be the weird, awkward, (laughs) funny black girl. Right now I'm learning to love myself. I love the person I am, love the woman I'm becoming. I've finally 
accepted the fact that I really can be happy and I can control my happiness. Pretty much, I just stopped putting myself in a bubble, you know, of this is how you should be. So I've given myself permission to be different. Forget what everybody else feels, what they're thinking, it's either they're with it or they're not.